And so the enemy same on the and the first 911 with George Bush. Land the second uh, 911 at Benghazi and the attack uh, on Obama's watch. And basically, it seems to me that it was choreographed to change the um, tempo of the elections and to um, ensure that um, Governor Mitt Romney won the elections. You see, Republican and Mitt Romney. I mean, from the type of comments he makes and so on, and, and what he promised others in the Middle East, that he seemed to be a war hawk. And they wanted that, they liked that. So, if he were the commander in chief, what he would have done? He might have ordered in some expeditionary forces, maybe a thousand, five thousand years to go and do what. Um, but, you know, um, these folks got to be able to think straight. And it's not time for everything to end. So, that's why he didn't get a chance, but it was really, really um, timed and, and initiated to give him some credibility and some help to win the elections. As I said, this this big strategy here is this, that you go into Benghazi and to Libya, and then the same thing happens all over the Middle East, then folks you in trouble now. You can't respond to all of those. And um, then other things are going to beckon Libya. I mean, uh, Syria, Iran, and, and, and they keep going until they're able to pull the economy down. So that was the whole strategy. And I hope that uh, folks are learning and, and getting some wisdom. Because, you know, you have to be careful. You have to look all around. You see, when you do something and something else happens, it's possible that you should be able to see that would have happened. Um, guy goes and robs the bank, and the actual issue of the police. I killed somebody and it's, it's, that was jumping to the execution, or he gets shot. You should have seen that could have happened. And ask yourself, if you have a couple of bucks when you get in the bank, club, it's worth it. And so, uh, thank God uh, he was the commander in chief, and also the Americans realized that this was just a ploy to drive us into the crusade in the Middle East. And so, thanks for no thanks, and the price. And, um, we have four more years of Obama, no more uh, threat from um, Governor Mitt Romney to put the world in chaos and America at war. 